Indian Air Force has initiated a significant move to enhance its squadron strength by proposing the direct procurement of 114 Rafale multirole fighters from France. This decision marks a shift from the prolonged multirole fighter aircraft tender process to a government to government deal, aimed at accelerating deliveries in light of urgent operational needs. Indian Navy is on a strategic path to establish a three carrier strike group by 2035. As part of this ambitious plan, both the United Kingdom and France have expressed strong interest in collaborating with India on the development of a next generation aircraft carrier, tentatively named INS Vishal. This vessel is projected to exceed 65,000 tons and aims to enhance India's blue water capabilities. Recent report emphasizes the importance of steady and practical cooperation between Japan and India in maintaining an open, stable, and secure Indo-Pacific region. Both nations view this area as an interconnected strategic space, advocating for inclusivity, freedom of navigation, and respect for international law. The United States has officially supported South Korea's initiative to develop nuclear-powered submarines and enhance its uranium enrichment and spent nuclear fuel reprocessing capabilities. This endorsement comes as part of a series of agreements reached during recent summits between South Korean President Lee jae myung and U.S. President Donald Trump. Landscape of modern warfare is undergoing a transformation, particularly highlighted by the effectiveness of low-cost weaponry such as drones in asymmetric conflicts. This shift is particularly relevant for India, which faces significant military challenges along its borders with China and Pakistan. Aeronautical development has issued a significant request for proposal aimed at the design and development of broadband radome integrated with polarizer for light combat aircraft MK2 electronic warfare suite. This initiative is part of India's to enhance self-reliance in capabilities, particularly the context of IAF requirements for advanced air. BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, developed by BrahMos Aerospace, is recognized as a pivotal asset in India's defense arsenal. With a remarkable speed of Mach 3 and a range of 450 kilometers, it has transformed maritime warfare. However, as adversaries like China and Pakistan enhance their air defense systems, the urgency for an upgraded Mach 4.5 variant becomes critical to maintain India's strategic advantage. Boeing is facing a significant setback in the delivery of the last three Apache R-6040 attack helicopters to the Indian Army due to Turkey blocking their transit. This situation has complicated India's timeline for the induction of these helicopters, although Boeing remains committed to expediting the delivery process. KF-21 Borame, South Korea's advanced 4.5-generation multirole fighter jet, exemplifies impact of international partnerships, particularly with the United States, on the development of indigenous aerospace capabilities. Despite being marketed as a locally made aircraft, the KF-21 is heavily reliant on foreign suppliers for over 20 critical subsystems, highlighting both the advantages and vulnerabilities of such collaborations. IIT Kanpur recently showcased scale models of next-generation stealth UCAV during a seminar titled Background in Man Combat UAV Dynamics. This event, organized by IIT Kanpur Aerospace Engineering Department, highlighted the Institute's significant contributions to India's defense technology and its role in advancing autonomous warfare capabilities. In light of increasing border tensions and insights gained from recent conflicts, the Indian Army is undertaking a significant upgrade of its Boffer's FH-77 155mm howitzers. This initiative aims to modernize the artillery fleet by enhancing the recoil systems and auxiliary power units with advanced electric drives.